Have you ever wondered how could people who spoke different languages communicate if they didn't understand each other at all in the first place? In fact, when two mutually intelligible languages come into contact, chemistry happens between them. Both languages are modified and mixed together, forming a new language entity with its own grammar rules, vocabularies, and community of native speakers. The product of such convergence is called Creole language. As most of Creole languages are linked to European colonization, they are scattered in many coastal regions of the world. Till this day, there are still many Creole languages alive and even expanding. In this video, we will focus on one Creole language, Australian Creole. It's a contact language formed by traditional Aboriginal language and English. In 1908, a mission was established near the Roper River, and there stayed Aboriginal people from various language groups. Linguists believe that Australian Creole generated during that period, stimulated by the Aboriginal people's need to communicate with each other as well as English-speaking missionaries. Creole now is spoken by about 20,000 people in Catherine region of Northern Territory and Kimberley of Western Australia. The number of native speakers is still increasing. Studies have suggested that one factor contributing to this expansion is the government policy. In the 1930s, the government aimed to eliminate so-called hybrid English and hence promote standard English. However, the policy only accelerated creolization. As a result, the number of Creole speakers grew rapidly, but it came at the cost of decrease in traditional Aboriginal language speakers. Creole never stops developing. Though many still regard it as mere gibberish, more embrace Creole as a vital part of Aboriginal culture. In the end of today's video, I would like to quote from John R. Sandifer, author of the book Creole of Northern Australia, a language coming of age. Creole is a dynamic continuum system, dynamic in that it's not an invariable language, a continuum in that there are a number of subsystems within it which are linked together by gradation rather than being discrete, a system in that it does not consist of a random mixing of elements. This dynamic system although still in an incipient stage of attaining full autonomy, is nevertheless a language coming of age.